I like your question nine. Um, so the width and length of a rectangle were changing so that the width was stretched to three times its original size, but the area did not change. Uh, the length must have uh, A stayed the same size, B tripled as well, C shrunk to one half of its original size, shrunk to a third of its original uh, size. So but with length and width and length, we're, uh, we're talking about two different sides of the two, uh, two adjacent sides of a rectangle. It doesn't have, one doesn't have to be bigger than the other. So what do you think? Uh, so this is the rectangle. If I'm decreasing the, that height to one third or that side to one third, this side has to, the, the other side has to go three times bigger to um, basically, mm, oh, if the width was stretched, sorry, this side is stretched to three times bigger, the height has to go uh, to one third and to make sure it has to sh shrink to one third so the area doesn't change. So again, over here I had the full size and then I, we stretched this way and then we got um, um, the other side had to become smaller. So uh, we have to shrink to one to a third of its original size. That's that the yeah, that is the D. Um now why are we discussing this? Because um this discussion of uh finding the in, indefinite integral using substitution um, can be explained for the first time can explain uh, the substitution through uh, a little bit of an area. This comes back to you in calculus 3, uh, a tiny bit different but uh, same concept basically. So let's say if you're taking the antiderivative, the first antiderivative is antiderivative from 0 to 2 e to the power 3 x dx um, and so that's the one, zero to two. Uh, and then you want to change that through the, um, basically, uh, the substitution. It becomes integral from zero to six, one third e to the u du. Again, now this is the, uh, this is the function y equal to one third of e to the u. Over here, you want to find the uh, integral uh, uh, area underneath that function. And over here, you want to find the integral underneath this function. Look at this. Even uh, you can even see it when you're doing um, in R4. Uh, that is the uh, remain sum of, uh, uh, on the right end of four um, rectangles. And you can see that because uh, e to the u one one is uh, one third of e to the u is this much um, smaller uh, from uh, the height are smaller, uh, and then you have to have a, a bigger width uh, to basically cover that up, and so this all balances between. Um, the u and, and the u uh, makes up for uh, all of that basically. Uh, the, the u increases over here and therefore you have to um, multiply it, multiply the function itself by one third. So the, again the orange, for example, orange rectangles match the same size, the blue rectangles match the same size. And then there's a little uh, pink one over here that you don't see it can match the uh, same size. So basically, uh, this 0 to 6 increases the width of the rectangles, and then you have to decrease the height of the rectangles to have the same area. And that explains a little bit of the um, 
substitution with definite uh, indefinite integrals.